Well, I couldn't go one day without r putting up a video on the dragon's den. Now, I want you to kind of understand. First of all, the dragon's den is owned by Sony. Sony makes a lot of war game type video games that manipulates everybody into loving killing people. Sony is far from your friend. But Sony owns the Dragon Stand. And what is the Dragon Stand show all about? They are about stealing your ideas. Most company, most people that want a business, I mean, they're so desperate for a business, so desperate to start something up that you will sell your soul to the devils like the dragon's den and and trust me i was not about to go in there to get these guys to be any of my partner if you've seen my presentation or the edited version of my presentation there was no manip i was not trying to get them to be investors i, I it was hard work <laughs> to sort of at the same time i'm trying to introduce a concept but not sell it so much that these dragons will want a piece of it so it's like I had to ask for $2 million and a non-profit, which is what the idea is anyways. And the concept of the show is that they want to own your company. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's, it's bring me your ideas so I can own it and buy you out and put you out of business. Um, is basically the concept of what the Dragon's Den is all about, is selling your soul to the devil. <laughs> they admit they're dragons. What does a dragon look like? Like a devil? So they admit it's it's like evil is out there in front of you and evil can only do what you agree to. So when the dragons want to buy 50% of your company, you know, what are they doing? They're trying to own everything, every idea you've got. They want to own it. Sony wants to own any good idea. Which means even if you're applying, it's like putting in a patent. As soon as you, you, you put in your idea, your audition, it's like, ah, I'll steal that idea. And that's what they do is they find that's when you hand in a patent, it's like who owns the, the government corporate structure. So anybody that's got a patent oh, for free energy, for example, somebody sees it and they prevent it from being produced. Um, there's more work produced preventing good products from being like the dragons I mean they wouldn't be able to see a good idea to support a good idea the only thing that we're going to support right now is everything bad so I don't know my recommendation put them out of business um, any business deal that they own don't buy from them so anybody that's trying to start a business that's willing to sell their soul don't buy from them I wouldn't buy from from anybody that got a deal from the Dragon's Den because they are people you know damn well have sold their souls to the devil to make a buck. Um, I am so grateful every single day that I... There's no way I can sell my soul to the devil because I wouldn't be able to stay in the same room with them. Can you imagine those people telling me what to do? It's like... They'd be putting me down, criticizing me, you know, telling me I'm stupid and I need to follow them all the time. You know, like it would be like the worst working environment I could ever, ever imagine. It's like you couldn't, I would rather be homeless than to be in a room with people like that. Mostly, you know, because I, I, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be able to, to cope with people like that, like putting you down constantly. You know, stealing your ideas and um, they make all the profit while you're doing all of the work. <sighs> greed, greed, greed. When will we ever learn? When the planet's just about destroyed, then you'll get it. Um, the price of potatoes is skyrocketing. Potatoes in Canada. Ten, $10 a bag last time I looked. It's hovering in between 7 to $10 for a 10-pound bag of potatoes that used to cost a few months ago $3. $3 to 10 that's a massive jump. Um, 
And this is, I live in Canada. The economy is doing pretty good here. I mean, everybody seems to think that Canada is not going to go into a depression. Um, <laughs> newsflash for Canadians. Uh, your, your price of food is going up. Soon you'll find sh food shortages. Uh, the planet is not doing well. And we're going to be paying the price for that when there's not going to be any food on the on the shelves because first of all food is not being grown food is being poisoned and transportation costs everything is escalating everything is going out of control why because of people like the dragon's den they have the same mentality as those that are controlling the entire system. It is the companies like Sony. It is the companies um, like Dragon's Den. It is franchising. It is companies like Walmarts that are destroying your friggin' opportunities. They're stealing every opportunity away and you're handing it to them like on a silver platter simply because you'll sell your soul um, and you know if you deprive somebody enough then they're willing to do anything and I'm at the point where I see this game and I think a lot of other people are starting to see the game that I don't care how hungry you can make me at the end of the day I ain't lifting my finger for no corporate structure. I will never, ever sell my soul to the devil. If that means that I starve to death, so be it. But there's no damn way in hell you can torture me enough to be able to sell my soul to the devil. And I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat. I don't think that uh, people will walk into the ovens as easy as they did in the past. When you do something in the past, you cannot play that game again because you've educated people. They know not to get on the trains. <laughs> they know not to get on the buses. They know what's at the end of the buses now. The ovens to their own freaking death. And then when you see a whole pile of coffins being produced... Um, it's kind of a wake up call to everybody that don't get on any bus, don't get on any train, don't, don't go where these politicians, lawyers, Sony dragons want to guide you. The path that they're guiding you down is going to be the path to your death. Die on your terms if you're going to die. And I ain't dying making somebody else rich. Those days are over. I don't think I, the more people wake up, the more you are creating psychosomatic behaviors that say, I ain't doing that. And that's all it is, is I am psychosomatically, it's impossible for me to do something that I can't do anymore. It, it's, it's, it's like some people are artists. But when you find out your art destroys all of human life, you'll never pick up another paintbrush. It's just something that you won't be able to do. Your creative skills will be gone. You won't be able to even draw a straight line. So it, it, it's like you will destroy your own friggin' talent and what you're capable of doing if you keep doing it for evil. But it can because it will stop you eventually if you work for evil you destroy your own talent because you won't even pick up that brush and that's something that evil doesn't realize is that they think that they can torture you and and get you to do what they want you to do but ultimately the more they make you suffer, the more they, they are basically teaching all of us to be smarter and wiser than them. It's like they created this security system that we can't break into. You know, they think that they've got this system, this structure so set up. Evil has won the war and they've got a security around them that nobody can block. And we're all sitting there going, 
can't get in, can't get in, can't break open, can't stop, can't, you know, like all of us humans are trying to break into the building, but we can't because their security so big. But you know what? That's what hackers are for. As soon as you develop a system that can't be broken, somebody there is going to try and break it. It is exactly what your justice system is all about. A lawyer is there to figure out how to break the law. Okay, so you design, evil designs a system that can't be broken. Well, that just makes us figure out how to break it. We follow your rules. Evil has taught us how to do everything. But evil does it for evil purposes. But God does it for good purposes. So we can do exactly the same thing that evil did. Evil taught us how to manipulate everybody. That means that we've got to put things out into media, like YouTube. Yes, they use mainstream media, but can you see they're kind of destroying mainstream media? A lot of people aren't paying any attention to it. A lot of people know that anything they say on mainstream media isn't exactly the truth, which is driving the audience onto the internet. And they know that. So, but that is what we got to keep doing, is keep putting data out in the airways. Share information like they did. That's what they did, is sharing and manipulating people into a path. We need to just share and manipulate and create our own path. Um, what else do they do? They use a lot of programming tools on... Um, that you don't even know what's going on. Um, I forget the name of it. I did that video that says this video will program your brain. And it is an awful lot of work to get the structure, but um, you can easily brainwash people. You create the feeling, and as soon as you can get anybody making a feeling, then make an association with that feeling. So it's like, are you feeling really hopeless and helpless and, you know, nothing's ever going to work? However you're feeling that, you have the opportunity to feel either really bad or really good about it. So if you're feeling really, really bad, the association I'd like you to know is that you've got the answer to that feel bad feeling. And you just don't know it. And that's the information that we're trying to share is that you do have the answers. They don't, but you do. So you have to believe in self. That is the transformation, is believing in self. Don't believe in aliens. Don't believe in a politician. Don't believe in a lawyer. Don't believe in a motivational speaker. Don't believe in me. Believe in yourself. And me telling you to believe in yourself is me telling you something. It's like, don't even believe that. All you got to do is um, be the example you want to set. I'm listening to myself. And that's the only example I want to set is see how it works for me. Kind of working. I'm kind of loving it. I'm loving life. And I see that there's massive, massive potential on the planet. And I see that we're in a chaos stage right now. I see we're organizing right now. When people are organizing, you can't really see that organization going on. But it's happening. And uh, we're getting educated. We know that where we purchase is going to make a difference. Um, so most of these businesses, I mean, you got to face it. It doesn't even matter whether you're going to buy anything from a product that Sony owns or Dragon's Den owns. It doesn't matter. Because eventually you will have no money to buy from them anyway. So do you think in any way, shape, or form me suggesting you not buy anything, whether you listen to that advice or not, doesn't make any difference. Because I know for a fact nobody's going to have any money to buy anything from these products. <laughs> so it's like you can crush them now while we have power, or they'll let them crush themselves. It's just a matter of sitting there waiting for everybody to, to just crash so we can build. So it's all good. Peace out.